Welcome in, John Shambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late stages of this one. Anna Nobody out in the ninth. McAllister. Here's Guriel, one for three. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. She deals. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment. We'll get back on track. His team needs him. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Throw on to Olsen. Royals down to their final out. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Royals designated hitter. And that is cut on and missed. That's strike one. McAllister is just one strike away. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's the 0-2. Got him. And that is the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big out. But it's a good feeling. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late 22. stages of this one. Anna. Nobody out in the ninth. McAllister. Here's Joey Bart now. Fouled off. He was late. McAllister, multi-time all-star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. She's two outs away. Jace Young next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the diamond. It's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated. And then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out. Tapped out in front of the plate. On the first, ball game. And the Braves take the series opener here at home. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. 
everything's right here. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. And now Roman Anthony. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Looking to get the tying run on base. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their clothes. Who come in and just destroy all the ball. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for Toronto, Miguel Iraldo. There's a strike. McAllister, 24 years old, and she was the second round pick in 2023. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game. Trailing by four runs can be pretty tough, especially when there's good pitching on the other side. But these players just kept fighting. They never gave up. And that's when they got back in the ball game. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Tyrone Taylor. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. Tyrone Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. McAllister, multi-time All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to now see out of your closer. Come in and okay. close the door. Cancel oh, any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. McAllister, a very difficult pitcher to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against her. 
she wins every pitch and for a hitter sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of her pitches one down base is empty the punch out there and there's two away this is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer no come in Number and three. just destroy no all hope first two batters two strikeouts see if she can strike out the side popped up Olsen under it she's got it ball game and the Braves take the first two games of this series on the road but with his sixth win in a row all of a sudden you start to look around up and down the lineup to your left to your right as a player and you say you know what we're good uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on but this is a good team Welcome in, John Shambi and Chris Singleton. We've got one out here in inning number seven. One down. Carson Rockefeller, the next giant to hit. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. McAllister, she's kind of a prototypical bullpen. On the ground. There's one. Over the first seat. David Villar, the next Giant to hit. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Swing and a miss, strike one. Now, as a hitter, when a pitcher like this comes into the game, you feel like she's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you. Got him. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. So they get three runs, one hit, one error, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming. And we're back. Bottom of the inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Jorge Mateo. And here comes. That's in there. Going one. McAllister, in her fourth year, 24 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. That's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. She's got the stuff, obviously, and right there she used it to put her opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Neto now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Swing and a miss as he was late. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. The punch out there, and yeah, there's two away. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Here's Alex Verdugo, one for two. Right through there for a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. She's got a chance in an immaculate inning. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Well, she's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans our final line for tonight First welcome in we're in the eight two men out John Shambi along with Chris Singleton John Kenzie Noel the next giant to hit just oh, no. missed well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So two runs on three hits. No error. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today and pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks Number for tuning in. And we've got Anna. a good one going here in extra Rick innings. Allen, Three, four, five due up for the home team. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Juan Soto. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Slings it across. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a relief to come into the ball game and get the first hitter she faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. And fouled off. He loves being the guy at the plate in these spots. You need to be careful with him because he can change this game rather quickly. In the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Well, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. You want to make sure you don't waste him. They don't score this inning. There'll be some second guessing for sure. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. And the count is 0-2. Caught him looking for the K. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position. Two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. Let's see if the next guy can pick him up. So last chance for the Dodgers. And up next for Los Angeles, James Wood. Fall off foul. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Got him! And that is the ball game. She's done it again, Boog. That's her 30th save of the year. She puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late 22. stages of this one, and, uh, nobody out in the ninth. McCallus, uh, so the lineup flips over, and now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Looking to get the tying run on base. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. A swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And that one fouled off. Swinging for the strikeout. And they're down to their last out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. So it's their last chance in this one. And now here is Trey Turner. Fought off foul. A one-run lead here at the top of the ninth. They're down to their final strike. She's pounding this on. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Got him! And that's the ball game. The final line for 
for our ball game. For the big Jambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. Standing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Fastball for a strike. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That catches the corner. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Wow, short work to send him back in to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop she was dealing with at the plate. Baden now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there are two outs. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the now benefits, back. the advantages of relievers back who can in. come in and get the swing yeah. and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, Swing. struck him out. All well, she's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's Glaber Torres. Yeah, the right hater back to work. McAllister in her fourth year, 24 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. And the count is 0-2. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. Got him swinging. <laughs> Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball and then the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Oswald Peraza, the next up for the Marlins. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. The pitch. Got it by him. Gordon Bow. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Two out spaces empty. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. That one away, still one and two. She's desperately looking for that swing and miss. She's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Here comes a pinch. Stays alive. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering. 
Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins, but they lead it 4-1. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here, and you got your. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Luis Angel Acuna getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. All season long, she's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until... Now this one gets through. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Just about gives her skipper a heart attack, but that's where she functions best. That one missed. Dying run at the plate. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate. He goes down looking. That was just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Tyro Estrada to the plate foul back our way and that's out of play with the tying run at the plate and here in extra innings swing and a miss oh a two now fights it off you'll see another a healthy cut tough pitch at 98 but a really good pass at the ball swing and a miss struck him out and the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close And we welcome you in already two away Number here in the seventh. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. So first and second with two outs. And next to him for the Sox, Jacob Gonzalez. Fought off foul. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering where they're going to stick. And she got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat him. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And here's the catcher, Edgar Caro. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey, kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Yeah. Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox in 2019? I think there were... Were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? My scorecard was ugly for that series. Now it's the DH, Benny Montgomery. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens, so like it's just a mosaic over there. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens. They, you know, I got the skinny scoring pen, and then I have the red, and then the black, and then I got a highlighter. So there is a lot going on. One out, base is empty. Triple digits on that last pitch. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many pitchers thrown in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. I mean, pitchers are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Swing and a pop-up. Moving under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Well, Rick, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late 22. stages of this one, Canada. nobody out in the ninth. McAllister. This is J.J. Blade, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. J.J. Blade. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Riley drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. She's two outs away. Este Yuri Ruiz, the next to hit. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. McAllister, multi-time all-star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Struck him out looking, and they're down to their last out. Up next, Zach Gella. Up next for the A's. Zach Gella. Right through there for a strike. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Next offer in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. The A's down to their final strike. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Two outs. Right through there, got him. Ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they play like it. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Digging in for Oakland, Zach Gellar. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And first offering is fouled off. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. And a pitch. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Oakland down to their final out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. Miller in the box now. No balls and a strike. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw. And the defense comes away with nothing. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Clark Elliott. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. 
Pop jet. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You've got another team coming in. And you want to do exactly the same. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late stages of this one. Anna Nobody out in the ninth. McAllister. And here is Sosa to the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And there's a foul ball. McAllister, multi-time all-star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. The wine and the pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And a pitch. That misses off the outside edge. It's a good take. Swigs through that one. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. Clifford stands in now, looks at that one inside. This could end it. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. And right back to the mound. On the first ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. This is why they turned to her to close out games. She's so reliable in these spots, and she just proved it for the 35th time this season. Well, nice job getting it done out of the pen. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. One down. And stepping in for New York, Luis Angel Acuna. And first offering is fouled off. The Braves leading by four here in game three of this four-game series. Riley, off-balance speed, there's one. Back to first, double play, and that's the ball game. Well, you come into a tough spot, and your focus is on that catcher's mitt. You're attacking the batter, and she did exactly that. Fortunately, ball was hit into a spot where they could turn the double play, so one hitter, two outs, gets a W for the team.
Welcome in. We're in the eighth. Two men out. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. McAllister. Here's Nick Prado. One for three. And a big swing and a miss all season long. She's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. They limit the damage here. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. For Boston, Luis Arias. And first offering is fouled off. McAllister, 24 years old, and she's a former All-Star Game MVP. And a foul ball. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And he'll two. Comebacker to the mound. Gets it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like she just continued her momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help herself out. She's two outs away. And next for the Red Sox, Connor Joe. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first, two up, two down. Well, boy, we talk about how the ball has come out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Devers, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. McAllister is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with a big hit, who's going to come out. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss struck him out, and that's the first out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Now Come in and basement. close the door, Holy cancel Jesus. any hope oh, that that yeah. opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Urias in the box now, takes strike one. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. strikes and they're down to their last out this is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer come in and just destroy all hope first two batters two strikeouts see if she can strike out the side so they're down to their final out Kevin Biggio stands in for the Phillies swings and misses and that's strike one They're down to their final strike. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. A one-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Got him! 
And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're the good. Part of the lineup. We may have had some tough times here. earlier on, but this is good. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. One down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. McAllister. She's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff. That results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big-time benefit. Now, as a hitter, when a pitcher like this comes into the game, you feel like she's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Well, I've always said it's tough. A hey, elevated fastball you see so well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, chances of catching up are next to none. So you see that one just blown right by him. I think you're going to have to start a lot earlier if you're going to catch up to that speed. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves keep it rolling. Seven straight victories now. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris number Singleton. 22. Late stages and, uh, of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Down. And now for the Phillies, Rodolfo Castro. Three. One for three. Third baseman, Rodolfo. And it's found away. McAllister, a former All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And the right-hander deals. And down on strikes he goes. One up, one down. Well, the first batter, it's always a big the one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get Love settled out. in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Hey, we got one here. In for a strike. And it's 0-2. The Braves trying to close out a three-run lead here in game three of this four-game series. Swings and misses. Two up, two down. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take the first three games of this four-game set. We've grown to expect her to just roll in the games and simply close them out easily. And she's made it look very easy at times. And now the she's up to 40 for saves for the year. For the big In. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, Number late 22. stages of this one, Anna. nobody out in the ninth. McCallus, and uh, now it's Kiebert Ruiz. The, the catcher, Kiebert Ruiz. McAllister, a former All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Late with the swing there. No ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. She's two outs away. Now, Elijah Green. And a swing and a miss. 
Bringing the cheese on that one. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk the about the benefits, the, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. That's to third. Makes a sliding stop. Over to first. And they are headed for October. They've won the National League East. But when you start the season, your goal is to win that division and win it as convincingly and as early as possible. Well, they did just that. So the good thing, they'll be able to rest some yeah, players. If you got some players banged up, they'll... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Jason Dominguez. And a foul ball. McAllister, multi-time All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slurb, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Harris has a beat on it. And it's caught for the out. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Well, I say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. That one fouled off. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. The batter. No so it's their last chance in this one. Stepping in, Lars Newcomb. Just missed. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. One strike away. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Fermin makes his way towards it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves slug their way to a win in this one. Well, Boog, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can... Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Nick York. On the corner for a strike. It's 0-1. Okay, well, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Now this is in the air down the line. Acuna after it. Nabs it. Two down. Up next for the Nationals. No left field. So they're down to their final out. Now here is Jacob Melton. 
Swing and a miss. Going one. And there's a foul ball. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. These players know they have a long series ahead of them, but they come out, establish, and set the tone in the first game of the series. Very important to get that. Put you in the driver's seat to win game two, the and then push yourself to a series win, if not a sweep. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals. For the Nationals, the designated hitter. That one fouled off. McAllister goes five feet seven inches, 24 years old, and she's a former All Star Game MVP. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. Put up on down. Well, the first batter, it's now always batter. a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled really? in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Green stands in now and watches strike one. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. McAllister is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room. In. John Chomby, Chris Singleton, Number late two. stages of this one, Anna. nobody out in the ninth. Now the third baseman, Tyler Black, 0 the for 3, a fly seven. out, a ground out, and a Tyler strikeout. Black. Swing and a miss. McAllister, multi-time all-star, she features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. The 1-1. Late with the swing there. That was straight queso right there. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. That one pushed foul. McAllister is just one strike away. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And that 
is the ball game. Single tonight, John Shambi. Thanks for joining Number us. Two. Ninth inning here with one away. One down. Jordan Lawler up now for the Brewers. Swing and a miss. That one at 99. It's 0 and 1. On the ground, a second might be two. Glove flip for one. On the first, got him. And it's a double play to end it. Triple digit wins. A hundred wins. That's hard to even look at. You kind of blink your eyes to make sure that it says what you're. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Here's Glaber Torres. McAllister, multi-time All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. The pitch. Got him. And one out now. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Yeah, that's outside. Going to count one and two. Kicks and fires. Sets him down looking. And the Marlins with just one out left. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. The Marlins trailing by three here in game one of this three-game set. Swing and a miss, and she got it. And that'll do it. You don't reach 45 saves in a season by wasting opportunities. This pitcher's been taking advantage of these moments all year, and we saw it happen again in this win. The final line for a flower ball game. For the big Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late Number stages of this one. Nobody yeah. out in the ninth. Good Here's the catcher, good. Joe Mack. And that one fouled off. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt Double. from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, that's that slurve right there. She threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Couldn't catch up to the heater. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Yeah, Come yeah. in and just that's destroy that's all hope. Yeah, yeah. First two batters, two strikeouts. Oh, okay. See if she can strike out the side. Holiday in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a miss. All right, there's number eight, one away. The 
fish down to their final strike. Man, so close to the immaculate inning as that foul ball spoils it. She's pounding the zone right now, though. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves have won four in a row. Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series. Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Dominic Fletcher stands in for the Phillies. He swings and fouls one off. And the right-hander deals. There's the swing and a miss. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. She can go anywhere she wants to go right here. Solid looking, that's a strikeout. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. And now this crowd. And we're back. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Matt. The wind of the pitch. To the right side. Takes it himself. One up, one down. Here's Luis Arias. down the line and no one could get to it it's a foul ball that one catches the zone that is strike two got him looking fastball to letters frozen for strike three frustrating end to the attack for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. This is Bryson Stott. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. McAllister, 24 years old, and she was the second-round pick in 2023. That clips the corner. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher. Swing and a miss, and she got him. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Down quickly, go to the Phillies. And this remains a seven-all tie. Back here in Atlanta, Andrew Vaughn now. And a pitch. Swing and a miss at 100 miles an hour. That one hit to right. Acuna after it. No trouble here. Picks it away for the out. And there's one away. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing and a miss as he was out front. She's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate and miss at bat. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. What a great 
change of speeds. She goes on the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the late stages of game one. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still tied. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. She deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that run play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next offered in there for a strike. And it's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, there's a three pitch strikeout. She can do whatever she wants with the baseball right now. Now, here is Dominic Fletcher. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. She's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And a swing and a miss there. All right, there's number eight, one away. And a nice inning of work there as she sets him down. One, two, three. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Matt Theis. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him we're probably not going to steal anything today so that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits some slugs some home runs can come into play only two now and he grounds one to the right side throws the first in time one up one down now the third baseman, Luis Urias. That's in for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. She's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as her stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now for the Phillies, Bryson stop. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. <laughs> Two down, nobody on. Here in game one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Now, 
We're in extras. And there's a new arm on the mound. So it took extras, but here's how the numbers shake out from this one. Well, they couldn't settle this one in nine, but who doesn't love some extra inning baseball in the postseason? Our final line for Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Back to the top of the lineup, now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Swing of a foul straight back. McAllister, multi-time all-star, she features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. him looking for the K. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Well, the first batter, it's now always back. a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that oh, punch yeah. out, you get settled in, Normal. you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Ramos in now, takes ball one off the plate. Down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. No, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and she strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to hit to the left side, and this is going to do it. On the first ball game. And the Braves get back in the series with a crucial road win in game three. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle. Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate, 0 for 4 with three strikeouts and a flyout. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone! We are tied! He'll take a jog around the bases. It's 10-10. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Next offering is in for a strike. That was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a good eye there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. She throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like rolling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, she got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Out to short, McLean. Throws the first in time. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Urias stands in now and watches strike one. All tied up here in this decisive game five. Swing and a miss. Gassed it right by him. So a ninth inning comeback here, and this game has been flipped on its head. We're all even it.
Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Ezekiel Duran. The second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. McAllister, a former All-Star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Deal two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come yeah, in that's and that's close that's the that's door. That's cancel that's any that's hope that that opponent has that's in that's making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. Smith in the box now. No balls and a strike. They're down to their final strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, Singleton late stages of this one nobody out in the ninth Ezekiel Duran steps to the plate for the Dodgers swing and a miss that one at 99 0-1 in the air left field Ozuna ranging after it no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down She's two outs away. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Wood. Swing and a miss. 99. How do you do? A one-run lead late here in game four. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. She throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of out and you think that ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, she got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. The batter now will be Will Smith. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-2. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Out towards right center field. He's got a ball game, and the Braves take a big three games to one lead here in the series. Well, this is a huge win for this team. Instead of 2-2 two and two in the series, they're comfortably now 3-1. and One, one more win. Singleton late stages of this one nobody out in the ninth three four five do up for the home team Juan Soto now he's got the power the great contact skills one of the best contact hitters in the game 
on the ground right side in plenty of time to first they get the out on Soto she's two outs away Shohei Otani up to the dish and that is cut on and missed and it's 0-1 trying to keep good speed off the bases next offering is in for a strike a one run lead here at game five of the NLCS Hex and misses it's a strikeout I got to think that was the plan all the way. She set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's Mookie Betts now. Fought off foul. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in game five. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. One strike away. And the Atlanta Braves have done it. They're your National League champions. Congratulations to the National League champions. This team clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it now, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner Chris Singleton and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show. Chobby, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one. Nobody out in the night. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The first baseman. That one catches the zone. Bounce to the left side. And it's just foul. That was close. In the air, center field. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter she faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. Carpenter swings through it for strike one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in game one. Struck him out looking. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter. And the one pin is following soon. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. So it's their last chance in this one. And up next for Seattle, Luke Rayley. And fouled off. They're down to their final strike. Decisions, decisions. She's got five pitches to put the hitter away. I don't know what you're looking for here, O2. Next one just misses. Gonna count one and two. This could end it. Got him, and that's the ball game. 
this was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now for Seattle, Gustavo Lopes. Gustavo Lopes. A bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. McAllister, multi-time all-star. She features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slur, a changeup, and she occasionally uses a curve. Got it. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps her settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. There's a strike. He's outside the zone. He still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Falling behind two and one. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you if she will. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. on that one. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all of hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if she can strike out the side. Foul ball there. One strike away. Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Got him. And that'll do it. All this team needs is one more win. But when you're playing in the postseason, it's not just a win of a game. It's a win of an inning. It's a win of an at-bat. It's a win of a pitch count. And that's what they're going to need to do in the next game to take the series. John Shambi and Chris Singleton as we've got two away in the ninth. This is Bryce Terrain. The batter number two. Second base. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And that's it. They are World Series champions. The huge congrats to the World Series champs. This was an incredibly special team all season long. And what I love most is that these home fans that supported this team game in and game out, they got to witness it in their home ballpark. So many memories over this season. But in this game, the city is already going crazy. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game.
And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chomby. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show. The final line score for our... Thank mm -hmm. you.